This morning's Coffee With is with Michael Simon and Bobby Flay. And the satellite interview is furnished by Food Network and Clarkson Potter Publishing. Michael, yeah. Bobby, good to see you and thanks for joining us. Thanks for having us. We're so glad to be here. Oh, oh it's wait, a there's applause. 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 Wow, that's yes, awesome. Of Thank course. you so much. We have an audience for you. Oh, it sounds so delicious in my ear, the sizzling of the pans. What are you making? Well, we, we love a good sizzle. So, so Bobby and I are having a little bit of fun today. We're, we're doing both of our books. So um, I'm making, this is my, my new, my second five and five book. It's five and five for every season. So it's five ingredients, five minutes, under five bucks. So it's, it's all about people getting food from scratch on their table for their families a little bit quicker. And so I have, what you hear sizzling is some pan roasted chicken, uh, mm -hmm. the breast skin on, and then I have some Brussels sprouts here with a little bit of bacon. I'm gonna finish this with a, a white wine and mustard sauce and then a couple of this is like a great quick dinner thing and then I have one of my favorites grilled cheese sandwich Gruyere grilled cheese sandwich with Granny Smith apples then a big kale salad with uh, grilled portobellos some shaved red onion um, and a little bit of pine nuts get in there baby this thing out That's with aggression exactly. yeah do do the taste <laughs> that. test That's and you want. give us your Gruyere, review right? yeah apples and Gruyere. Bobby give us your review once you uh, right, take a bite on. A tiny bit on the seat now. Just... <laughs> what? What? <laughs> it's actually, you know, the, the thing I love about this is the apples give it that really nice crunch in there, so you mm -hmm. get this great contrast mm -hmm. of texture, and, uh, and the cheese is perfectly melted. When you make a grilled cheese, it, it is really about texture. You want the bread to be nice and crusty. You want all the cheese to be really melted. Nope. And if and neither one of those things happens, then you have an inferior grilled cheese. But I, not in Michael Simon. I agree. Well, and there's a little bit of mustard on here, which I love too, because you get a little bit of that sharpness. So nice. good. Thanks. So Ma so Michael's making lunch, obviously, yeah. or dinner, and I'm making brunch. And my new book is called Brunch at Bobby's, which is um, which is actually named after my show on Food Network. And people are just sort of becoming so much more interested in brunch than they used to be. It's a very innovative. Very sort of laid back kind of fun you know festive meal and so today I'm making something called a strata which um, kind of sounds fancy but it's not basically it's like You're a very bread. fancy no, I'm not. it's the New York in you okay. <laughs> it's a it's a bread it's basically a savory bread pudding right so you take bread from the mm. night before and you wrap it with some you know eggs and cream like make a custard and then I have spinach and Gruyere cheese some caramelized onions running through there and then I'm just I just took some tomatoes like cherry tomatoes cherry like especially as it gets starts to get colder and you want that freshness of the tomato yeah buy some cherry tomatoes in your supermarket and just uh, put them in a saute pan and let them burst open you'll have like a fresh tomato wow. sauce and that actually those tomatoes are good all year round all year round it's oh, yeah, that is, it is it's one of the tomatoes that you could find all year round that are always super sweet all right so Michael's gonna review me now yes think, give me Liz? your review Michael You know, <laughs> I think it's perfect. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's delicious. It, it's so, you know, we're, we're, we're lucky. We've been friends for a long time. We hang out together, cook at each other's house all the time. So his, his he, he, you know, obviously Bobby's a great chef. And, and one of the things he does best, I Thank think, you, is Michael. brunch. Thank you very much. And, I think and then I'm also making some home fries. These Ooh, home fries. Tell us about those. if you're making those. eggs or something, you have to have some home fries. These have green chilies and scallions and um, a little bit of uh, dressing on top. But you have to make your home fries nice and crusty. Mm -hmm. And I think you're right Just about the whole pan. No, just throw <laughs> some crab in there, and we got that Baltimore, Maryland uh, oh. home fry. That's, that's the deal right there. Right into the home crow. Absolutely. I shouldn't make any Baltimore. Browns jokes, right? <laughs> we love no. Baltimore. We love, love Baltimore. Great food in Baltimore. Yeah, just I'm like. I'm a Preakness fan. I'll be there in May. <laughs> yeah, just throw, you know, some crab on top and some Old Bay, and we're good. Oh, exactly. I love Old Bay fried chicken. That's one of my favorite things, too. Whoa. Yum. Break that out. You, you got to put that in your next book. It takes 15 minutes. <laughs> you, guys are, you guys are so fun. You guys are so fun. Would you be, you guys should do a cookbook together. Have you done that or do you want to do that? Uh, no. <laughs> no. You never know. We have very strong opinions about that. We'll go together. We even may do a show together. If we do a cookbook together, could could really end a long-standing friendship. Well, you guys are coming at you. Coming out at your next fall. Is you guys are right? awesome. The Simon so, Flake Cookbook. Brunch at Bobby's, five and five for every season. Available wherever you buy books out now. So uh, thanks for stopping by and cooking it for us. It was fun talking to you. Thanks, thanks Lynn. Lynn. Bye. See you guys later.